to the Chris Cross Corner Podcast. I'm your host, Chris Ganty. We got the great debaters here. We got Walter Quickdens. We have Christopher Bird. We Woo! have Marcel Smith. Yeah. And we have a special guest today. We have Champ the Great. What it is. And we have... Do I, can I call you Troy or can I call you Haney? Whichever one. All right, we got Haney on the show today. Hey. <laughs> All right. First segment of the show, of course, we're going to do What You Do in Detroit, talking about news around the city and hot topics in world news. Now, we're going to talk up first. It was confirmed. It was confirmed? Everybody confirmed that the NFL draft will be at Campus Marshes. Oh, that's perfect place. Perfect. Horrible oh, place. For real? Horrible place. Grim. Wait, you said what? Horrible place. It's, wasn't, it's it, small. wasn't it there like last year or a couple of years ago? Then we had a draft? I've never been here. Oh, no. That's not Oh no, 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 we're we're gonna host the draft. Yeah. There was like a there was like a draft party that there was at LCA in Fort Field. Anyone's been to Campus Marshes it is so oh, oh you said oh you said campus but oh it's gonna be at Campus I, Marshes, not Fort Field. I, I thought it was gonna be at Fort Field. I, yeah. I thought it was gonna be Fort Field. That would make the most sense. Listen here, they're gonna make so much room down there, they're gonna figure that they gonna figure Man, that out. Trust me. Man, oh, trust, sure. trust me. Hey, they're hey, gonna hey, figure. Hey. They're gonna figure it out a way to get all them people down there. Trust and believe. I'm gonna be me. down there. I'm gonna, I, I, down I, there. I, I'm, I'm gonna, gonna be down, down there too. Else, too. I'm, I'm gonna be down there. We gotta go to you, Detroit. You, gonna, you gonna go down to Campus Marshes? You ain't even gonna know that's Campus Marshes. Like damn, man, you're right. He'd be like, what? Well, bro, Detroit, this exactly. Is this Detroit. The, 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 tour, the tourists coming at the town, they go be like, oh my God, look at Campus Marshall. And now I'd be like, hey, look, let's take a few more steps over. Come on, come look. on down. Let's go hey, a mile hey, down the road. Hey, 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 no, 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 no. Hey, hey, let's go a mile down the road. Not a mile. Let's just, just turn this corner right here. Just just turn this just corner. Just a mile. Just a mile. Just, just a mile. Bye-bye. Here you go. Not even half a mile. You get to like Grashton and like Russell. That's yeah, dude, that's, that's a wrap. Down for the heads. And then, and then, hey, Chris, don't know that, but if you really want, if we're really going to show the tourists anything, we can go, we can show them. A cord cam monument, the Frank Murphy Hall of Justice. The Frank- I remember the show Court Cam. This is where most of the sh- most of the footage <laughs> is from. The Frank Murphy Hall of Justice. <laughs> you don't want to go there. <laughs> that is that's scary in there. I hate going in there. Oh shit! You don't want to go in there, man. Or, anyway, you, or, you, or you can watch the biggest beef in the world: American versus Lafayette, Coney Island. Hey, 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 Chris, hey, Chris, take a moment. Trash. Hey, oh, they won't let me out. They won't Trash. Let me out. <laughs> Trash. Trash. Other thing is, uh, oh, it's springtime. So, uh, that's probably going to be one of the, that that day is probably going to be the, like, the second most packed day for Campus Marshes. No. Of it, of it, it, it's so small. No, no, no. Bro, I mean, it's like that. Every, it's like that every night. It's like that every night. What are you talking about? It'd be packed. Right. Yeah. Not the days I go. I usually go in the winter time. Yeah, no yeah. You go in the winter right. time. What? Go in the summertime. Ice skating. Boy. Yeah, ice skating. That's it. That's in the, the whole. In the summertime, it's definitely packed down there. It's packed. Oh, yeah. It looks like New York City down there. Look, 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 uh, it's, it's, not the, it's not two times anymore. They actually built the rest of the, the, of the building. Uh, so it's an incomplete H. Yes. It's, it's yeah. It's, it's the Hudson it. building. Yeah, Hudson, building. Hudson's almost finished. Good. Almost finished. Yeah. Hopefully. Well, they've been well no, because they still got to build. It's like they still got to build up like some more. Mm-hmm. I'm just, they I'm say, just they say they they say they made a deal to like make it shorter or smaller. Mm-hmm. Which I was like, I, yeah, I you, you just did, you did all you could do to get it, the ground break, and then yeah. you want to make it smaller. Like that's. Just- I'm just, I, I'm just, I'm just honestly shocked that they would have it over at Campus Marshes and not over in, um, and not over in Fort Field. Because considering that Dallas Fort Field or Hard Plaza, all right, uh, they, they held the draft. They held the draft uh, two years ago on Bill Street. So I'm kind of guessing they could do. I the mean, same. they they, they had it over there. The I mean, but. When the draft was in Dallas, that was in AT and T Stadium. So I mean, like, I I don't know, I don't know. So yeah, uh, but you got to think AT and T Stadium, Ford Field. Ah, yeah, it's two different animals. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> sure. we, we talking I mean, about a billion dollar stadium, <laughs> which they lose all the time. Hey, 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 for Ford Field, Ford Field is one of the greatest stadiums in the NFL. 
Oh, okay, okay, that's debatable. We don't, we have, we ain't got enough time for that. Okay, it is nice. I mean, it is very nice in there. I mean, I mean, compared to you, all the other old stadiums. I mean, I mean yeah. what Ford Field? Yeah, yeah, of course. It's, it's right. very it, nice. It, it serves purpose. That's all I can say. Okay, that that's good. Yeah, that's real good. That's real good. <laughs> well, speaking of good, in my opinion. Burger okay. King is going to be closing 26 Metro Detroit locations. About time. About time. You mean the one on Woodward's gone? Been open for too long anyway. Some of these restaurants been open. I I had never seen a car go through the drive through in 25 years. Same. Yeah, I don't know how they still make their money. Close them. Close them the all. one right there on Six Mile and Schaefer, nobody goes. To. I no. forgot there was one there. <laughs> Right there next to the D, next to uh, Sinai Grace. Sinai Grace, yeah, I forgot. Oh, it's either there. it's either the 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 drive through be completely empty or it be closed. One or the other. Is it? Is it one or the other? It's like when I drove that by there by there a few days ago. I'm like, that's a Burger King there. Oh, yep. <laughs> I didn't know there was. I didn't know it was there. Man, the one by me when I used to live in Detroit, that one's still there. I don't know hey, why it's still there. A couple of months, those Burger Kings are going to become like nameless Coney Island. So, you're right. They're about to be legends in a second. They're going to be Nikki D's. They're going to turn legends. Nikki D's. Nikki D's. <laughs> hey, Jim. What's the other one? Grandies. A Nikki D's. Grandies. I don't know. Royals might might move over to the west side. <laughs> Said Royals. Royals, <laughs> yeah, you you're right. It might legends, Royals. L, what else? L. Georges might be making a comeback. I don't know. I mean, they they come back. L. Georges ain't hey, nowhere, hey, bro. Hey, 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 they hey they built one in Canton, so <laughs> it's lit. Uh, L. Georges, yeah, it's on Michigan, Michigan and Lily. You know, hey, oh, wow. that, thing, that place be packed. <laughs> hey, Chris, Chris, <laughs> hey, Chris, Chris, hey, hey, real quick, real quick, just just say, um, no, I just I just thought about it when it came to. Just to the drive, and this is the last thing I'll say about it. Considering that the drive flight next year in Detroit that's going to be in like mid April, you got have you got that going on late April. Oh yeah, excuse me, late late April, and and also that's how where baseball season happens. So there could very well be <coughs> the Tigers game going on at the same time where the draft is going on. You talk about a traffic nightmare. Oh, oh fuck that! I I oh, I'd rather yeah. I rather be at the Tigers game. I, oh damn! Look, and that's saying something. That's that's, a, that's something. That's, as a person that has to work at a stadium with all three events going on at the same time, damn time, don't hey. do. <laughs> I did it. We did it for. Uh, we did. We went down for the uh, Thanksgiving parade. As soon as you can. Oh, y'all did. Yeah, yeah. That's I'm right. gonna say you're gonna have to get there to work early, 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 early. Right. right. I worked on a day where hell in a cell, a baseball game happened, and a football game happened. Hey. And we had, and we had, and we had no complaints. We had, I had no complaints. I knew yeah, in the park. We good. Mm-hmm. Yeah, right, Don't right. park south that, of seventy five if there's three. That, that's, that's why if I'm ever going, or ever going to Detroit, like to a to a game or anything like that, I trust Chris. I trust Chris. Before you I need to trust me. I, I, I do. I do. <laughs> dude, you like a brother to me, man. I do trust you. Come on now. All right. All right. And in, in other in other bad news, well, good news for the city of Detroit. Uh, oh, Cast okay. Tech wins the first state championship for boys. Uh, hey, that's what's uh, up in school history. Up about oh, that. Damn. That's what's up. Come on, that's the first. That's the first DPS championship I think in like 10, oh, 15 man. years or something like that. that. Yeah, for boy, for, for boys basketball. Yeah, yeah, yeah. but uh, but uh, Castac beats some pop <laughs> gases, so they are, and and they have the right to because it's Castac. I'd rather yeah. be on kids shoot. Well, you can't because you went to where I look. But anyway, hot oh. topics. <laughs> hot topics. Um, did y'all try those White Castle bites that look like pizza rolls? Hell no! I love my absolutely stuff. not. No, I, I no, <laughs> I don't. No. I saw no. that Meyer. Hold I on said, now. Yeah. Hold on now. My fat, my fatness coming out. White Castle got some pizza rolls. No, I went to the <laughs> my, the Meyer. Look up here, Amy. Look here, Amy. The Meyer up the street at 12 Mile and Telegraph. Hey, I better not see them in the refrigerator at work, all right? That's all I'm oh, going to say. Oh, them, they were gone. They're definitely going to be the next. The they next were gone. In the refrigerator. Guess that's some pizza rolls and some Dr. Pepper in the fridge. <laughs> <laughs> they they were gone. I better not see them mine. in the refrigerator at work. That's all I'm saying. Hey. Well, I don't know. We ain't got no air fryer at the job. 
Not yet. The air fryer. Always going down. You have it in the budget. Bring one in. <laughs> a good air fryer will cost you about seventy five. All right, I don't Fl- see the problem. Flannery will lose his damn mind. Cora, Boy, Flannery, be, if you're listening to this, cooking, we this need an air fryer every day. Do you hear me? <laughs> so <laughs> he'll be in there cooking his lunch and taking some home for dinner. Like, yeah, this is dinner. Dude. You open the cheapest <laughs> lounge door, you'd be like, hmm. I don't know. Flannery <laughs> might make a crab cake. So um, so um, so um. Notice the safety hazard, right? If right. you bring this in, we could bring George Foreman's in and burn the whole place down. Oh, <laughs> hey, why, hey, why not? Why not at this point, man? Why not? Uh, you got and, then, and, then, and, then, and then once you uh, and then once you're done with that, you can go. You can go and get the best sandwich restaurant over at the Bucharest Grill, man. You want you want the best food in town? Go to Bucharest. No, that's not. I mean, I mean, it's good, but it's not like hey, it's, it's, pretty good. Don't, don't, you're that's not the best. Food. Uh, no, I, I was talking about the G Mac Cash uh, jingle song. That it he sounds said. really good right now, Chris, and I'm mad that you said it because I can't go <laughs> off the podcast and get it. That'll, but, uh, that, that piece, hey, man, that's, but Dollar Tree has stopped selling eggs because they're too expensive. First of all, I didn't even know that Dollar Tree sold eggs. Wait, whoa, whoa, I didn't what? Know that I'm just finding this out. <laughs> I don't think I don't think really? dollar should hey, sell well, 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 I mean, well, I guess Dollar Tree. Well, I guess you can buy meat from Dollar Tree, so hell, why not? Wait, you can? Uh, yes, yeah, bro. You yeah. can go in there and buy a whole damn steak and all that shit from uh, Dollar Tree. For a dollar? Hey, hey, no, hey, no, 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 no. For a dollar? I mean, I'm not no. saying go buy it, but I'm saying they nope, got nope, that shit nope, in there. Nope, nope. I'm talking that thing's supposed out. to be nope. frozen. You can stretch no, it that, when it's I'm frozen. That's not good. That's not good, Charles. I'm throwing a flag out. Mm-mm. No, sir. No, sir. Mm-mm. I read the late. It said 98% red meat, 2% other. So I'm just saying <laughs> now. That other, man. That, 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 that should kill you. With oh, big flavored cool. water, be careful of that. Mm-hmm. Man. I don't trust a store that only sells Gatorade warm. I don't know. Ugh. That's not about dollar stores. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. about dollar stores I don't trust. So. Yeah. Yeah. Hey man, but it's they get ready to dollar twenty five. You go they're like go else, back and a three dollar Gatorade. What you talking about? They're like, oh yeah, we got Gatorade over there. I'll too. I was like, I'll too. Y'all got no refrigerators? They got no fridge. They got refrigerators for bum ass banquet dinners, but not for Gatorade. They can afford banquet, but they can't afford eggs. I don't know. I I I don't get it, man. I don't get it. This I don't point. Know. Man, eggs, man. Yeah, eggs are going up, and you know, if you can buy cheap eggs, go buy them. You know, eggs are good for no, you. Don't don't buy them. Don't buy no, them. No, no. If you can buy no, eggs, no, whatever you no can get. Eggs. It might be a bird inside there. Fuck that! I'm gonna just go buy a chicken. You be you be ready to break it? No, stop. <laughs> no, it's gonna be like squirrel. <laughs> Man, the bacon's ready. The sauce is ready. You about to be cracked. <laughs> now, if the bacon's moving, we got a problem. Yeah, the bacon. If okay, first of all, if the bacon is mooing, we definitely have a problem. <laughs> <laughs> first of all, the question. I'm flab. I, I'm flummoxed right now. You're like, what the hell? <laughs> anyway, but yeah, that was what all we had for this week for what you do in Detroit. If you have any stories, you know, send us some stories at the Facebook group or go to at Crisscross Corner on Instagram and TikTok. All right. Now we got some basketball coaches on here today, and I want to pick their brains later on in the show when I do my oh. top ten NBA franchises of all time. Oh, well, you already know who number one is. Mm, uh, I don't know. This is this is Chris's list. So no, 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 no. It's my list, but it's it's based on facts. It's based on facts. Who's number one? If you have the Sacramento Kings on this what? list. First of all, go. first of all, Sacramento will be nowhere near the greatest NBA franchise of all time. They had a hey, chance. Shout, they hey, had a chance. Hey, shout out to the, hey, shout to the Kings. They're doing good this season. Shout out to the Kings, man. Shout out yeah. to them. I forgot where Sacramento was. The third best. Northern California. And I'm a ge- I was a geography major. I forgot where it was. It's hey, Northern I, California. I, I, it's okay. up there. Green Triangle. Well, team. All I know is Golden State. Hey, wait, 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 wait. Stop, 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 stop. Pause, pause. Did you just say I'm a geography major and I forgot where that is? Sometimes you forget, you know what I mean? Yeah, you, you, you do, you do. Like sometimes I forget Rhode Island is a state. Like right, like, 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 like Delaware. North, like, Cali- like we, we North Delaware. California. I think they might need to take your degree back then, man. That, that ain't, that's, they don't need, that's to, they don't need to take it back, Walter. They don't, they don't need to take it back. I earned nah. it. If, if anything, give, um, give Chris a free PhD, if anything. 
I mean, they did I, give me a, they get they did give me a free bachelor's degree. I did kind of skip out on my finals for, for jury duty, but it's okay. <laughs> yeah, you did. That was Dr. a look. Hey, Doctor Dr. Dr. Yeah. Dr. Kent, that, that's got a good ring to it. Dr. Kent. And yes, they were guilty. Anyway, um, we're gonna ah, talk ah, about ah. we're gonna talk about some stuff with high school coaching or coaching in general. So we have two coaches. We have uh, Haney on the show, and we have Champ the Great. So my first question, I think you both you guys can answer this together at the same time. What is coaching like at the varsity level in high school? Go, go ahead, Haney. Frustrating. Um, so Frustrating. we while we saying uh, at HFA, you can say it, you can say it either HFA. at HFA in the past, future, like now, or the future, or just just in general. Oh, shit, I can definitely do that. So, back in the day, at least at HFA, and probably sports all the way around, I believe kids took it a little bit more serious. Mm -hmm. Um, Whereas now, they just see, like, the highlight tapes. So, that's, like, messing the game up because kids don't actually watch basketball. Like, when our team... We would ask the kids like, "Who do you who do you pet your game after?" And they couldn't even tell you. Man. And it's like, dude, you don't pet your game after anybody. Like, how is that even possible? Right? Um, out here to play? You just out here to play? You don't, you don't know? Who, right? Who inspired um, you? AU and 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 don't get me wrong, I we coached AU for a long time, but um, AU kind of messed the game up because you just get ten players out there that know how to play the game, practice once a week, and then, hey, go play on Friday, Saturday, Sunday. See, the thing, about, the, but the thing about AAU is they they get a team full of the best of the best and then exactly. just put them out there. Mm-hmm. With, with exactly. that, I mean, you don't really as, – me as a coach, you don't really have to coach when you got the best of the best. Best you can just it. put the best out there and just be like, all right, go play. You know what I'm saying? For sure. And and yeah, just sit back and and then everybody be like, oh, he's a great coach. No, he's not really a great coach. <clears throat> he's got the best players in the state on his team. In the state. Right. Right. Playing on the game. Just as Star Wars. Right. That's just how that's just how it works. I mean, but <laughs> as far as like coaching, like these kids, these I'm going to say these new kids don't have the passion for the game that we had back when we was growing up. No. Yeah. Right. These kids, they like, like, like Haney said, they just see the highlight tapes and think they can automatically go out there and do it without putting in the work. Yeah, these kids like, don't like, like practice. They, they don't want to practice. They don't want to put in the work. Talk to practice, man. We talking about practice. <laughs> not a game. Not a game. Not a game. You know what Talk saying? about practice. <laughs> you you tell them to go home and work on some stuff. They be like, "No, we good. We gonna play two K. We good. We good. That you know what I'm saying. Go yeah. go do push ups. Go home and do some push ups. Nah, don't want to do that. You know what I'm saying. They were they you know, I think the pandemic messed that up a lot of that up too. You know what I'm saying. They kept a lot of these kids inside uh-huh. as far as like you know. Just not being able to go outside and play and actually play basketball. They was inside for a whole year. Even for fun, like basketball, any sport for fun. They didn't even do that. Right. They, they wasn't able to do that. Right. So it was just, you know, that messed up a lot of these kids that all like a lot of them that was like interested, but then wasn't like really interested. They didn't have that <clears throat> year to go learn the game. Or get the love of the game, you know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? So they just sat out a whole year, sat on their ass, mm-hmm. played their 2K, played their FIBA, played their Madden. And it was like, I'm good. I want to play got basketball. The got, got, got the cookie crumbs on the on the on their chest and everything from Chitos. Yeah, you know, Showing up the tryouts with mm-hmm. you know, beer. You know what I'm saying? And then they they think they can take their my player onto into real life. Nah, <laughs> man. Got all the matching gear. Facts. You know what I'm saying? So, so the first time I heard somebody say, hey, Haney, play me 1v1. I was like, what the fuck is that? <laughs> 1v1? Oh, you want to play me one-on-one? Like, what the hell? 
one v one. That shit killed me. That shit still killed. Me. One and, v and, one. And and now and now and now that, but would y'all also say that? Would y'all also say that? You no, know, a lot of kids, at least from y'all experience, would y'all say that they don't really care about defense, like actual defense. Everybody want to shoot, shoot, shoot. Oh, and everybody! Everybody, everybody want to be Steph Curry. Everybody, everybody, everybody. 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 everybody want to be Steph Curry, Kyrie Irving, uh, Kevin Durant. You know what I'm Dan- saying? Dancing and everything, and then and then when yeah. they put it up, don't they, put like, in the work. And guess what? They they be, they but, be dancing. And the crazy, I mean, they want to be them players, but they didn't see the work that these players have put in to be this good. Right. That's the mm-hmm. thing. All they see is the end results, and think they just step out on the court. They got it automatically mm-hmm. like great. No, these people didn't put in hours in the gym years. without nobody hours, watching. Years. Years. Hours, hours a day, and years, years, years. Yeah. Like Kevin you know Durant did become the best player in the world, just be just stepping out on ah. the nets and out feeding ah. sons. But he was in Texas. He played high school. Yeah, everywhere, everywhere. But it's the, just... the, the thing is, I'm cool. I'm cool with you shooting that shot mm-hmm. if we practice that shot. Exactly. <laughs> like <laughs> I'm cool with it. I mean, if, if, like... that, if that's all we do, if if that's all you do in practice, right? If we work on plays and all that stuff, and then we tell you, like, look. This is what we need you to do. We need you to shoot threes no matter what. I'm cool with that. But ain't nobody shooting like that for real. And, 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 and nobody, ain't nobody trying to play defense. Right. Ain't, ain't nobody boxing out like they're supposed to. Right, no, no, no. no. Or, no. Be, or be, get it. Or be, hey, 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 to the coaches, how about this? Like, how mad do you get if you see somebody at the line? If the, if the opposing team is going for a free throw, they put the free throw, they miss. But the worst thing is that when nobody boxes out, no one bosses out the other oh, That's, 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 that's the most ball. frustrating thing in the world. Second chance. Second chance that's points. A big, that's a big man that makes me cringe. Second, so much. second chance points. Just get the ball. Just like just just get it. Like like that. Chris, I don't know why you're talking. You're like five seven. Stop it. Hey, hey, Ooh. hey, man. Ooh. Well, hey. Man, it don't matter. It's all about heart. Who wants this ball? Hey, 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 heart over height. Heart over height. Get it, Kevin Hart, get it moving on. Anyway. This fool. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that that was good on high school varsity. Uh, what I'm gonna say this, I'm gonna save that question for the last one. Um, which rules currently in high school, college, or professional do you dislike? Well, I want to hear this compared to when you guys were in high school or before you guys were in high school. Uh-huh. That is. Bro, do I dislike? Dislike, like just, just ugh, hate that rule. <laughs> I hate in high school basketball, and people are probably gonna look at me like I'm crazy. But I hate that the center can play back on two three or three two or whatever is the zone you playing can just sit back in the paint. Well, that's oh, college. Dang. Yeah, I just hate. Sit there? I didn't know. I didn't know. Yeah, that. you can just play in, in, college, in college ball. You can do it too, and I hate it. In college, I now I'm it. gonna say this. I'm gonna say this. I'm all right with that in high school, but when you get to college, I think they should take that out because, especially if they're trying to prepare you for the next level, and you can't right. do that. Right. So you stayed in the pain, like tweet. What happened? You, you yeah, like I don't, I don't like when you get to college. I don't think you should be able to if you if you're trying to prepare these kids for the next level, which is the NBA. Or even, even overseas, that whole three set defensive three second rule should be in college. Mm-hmm. I, I now, agree. the rule that I hate in high school, I don't really got one just because. I mean, all of them make sense to me. Mm-hmm. But it's a rule that I think we should get at least in Michigan that we don't got, or something we should implement is a shot clock. Yeah, agree. Because, yo, there's no shot clock in high school. I, we don't have one in Michigan, but I know they got one in like New York, yeah. Ohio, <laughs> like other mm-hmm. other states have shot clocks in high school basketball. Which I is have another shot thing. clocks in recreational basketball, man. How's that? How's that possible? How's that? What? No, no, no. We're, we're talking about high school, high school basketball. I, I honestly about, did not know that. Wow, I, mean, I did not know yeah. that. I, this, wow. this, how how long is the shot clock in other states? Is it the same twenty four or is it, it like? It's it's uh I think it's like thirty five. I think I think yeah. it's like thirty to thirty five because I think it's like thirty five in college. That is a huge disadvantage. 
Wow. Yeah, like that's what I'm saying. So like for Michigan, I think we need to get the shot clock just because, especially if you're trying to go play at the next level mm-hmm. in college, what's well, got a shot clock, you and come from the state. The yeah, you come from a state where you could just stand there and hold the ball. Now you got to learn how to play with a shot clock. You're like, oh, shit, two seconds. Yeah. Throw it up. Yeah, like, I mean, Don't I think like Michigan's that. supposed to get it eventually, but in the next couple of years, but I think they should have been had it just because – and it'll speed the it's game just, up. Yeah. It will. And I've seen, I've seen the team, River Rouge Girls, which was not better than the Von Child Girls at all. I think this they was They just in, took the air off the ball. This might have been 15, maybe. They mm-hmm. literally just held the ball. The entire game. Yeah. I, I, want, I want to say in Indiana, I want to say the shot clock is like 35 seconds, I believe, if I'm not yeah. mistaken. Mm-hmm. Around 35 seconds, that's about right. Um, 35. I believe so, yeah. Hmm. That's interesting. Yeah, yes. yeah, I, 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 didn't, I didn't know that Michigan didn't have a shot clock in, in basketball. Oh, no, Michigan know. don't have a shot clock. Nope. They, they, they've been talking about getting it for like a couple of years now, but they still haven't <clears> implemented. But I'll say, um, I'll ask, what are, what are y'all thoughts about at least enough to the coaches as far as, um, as far as when the NBA took away the hand check rule back, and I want to say, was it just the five, two thousand six summer around that time? Two thousand five, I believe. Oh, thank you. Um, as far as like you know. The lack of hand check. Hey, well, I mean, hey, that means you, you got to play defense. A, yeah, but it gives the advantage to the offensive player. Offensive player, yeah. yeah. But at the same time, that means as a defender, you got to just move your feet. You got to yeah, learn how to move right your about feet. That. Because as a, as a defender, if I can put my hands on you, I can guide you on whatever way I want you to Wherever go. Wherever we need to go, yeah. Mm-hmm. I, I Wherever I need you to go. I can, I can hold you without actually really, you know, holding you, but but I can. That's not really playing defense. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't think teams play defense anymore. I mean, uh, it's obvious they don't play defense anymore. But you can. No, it's, it's like, you can definitely tell from our era, which you know, for all the young people on here, was the early two thousands, late two thousands. Right. Yep. Um, mm-hmm. Where kind of like when a when defense kind of went on the decline. We can mm-hmm. tell. Or a man was not a. Well, you you can tell. You can, yeah. I mean, just look at the point difference, like man. from from early man. early two thousands until now. Like it's the, like the, motherfucker uh, scoring uh, like a hundred and fifty points a game, hundred and twenty uh, something points a game. Will, like yeah, I will take you back to a, a time where was, I was watching a Detroit Pistons game and the it was score points, was 20. seventy to sixty nine. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's a right. halftime score today. That's a halftime score. Yeah, halftime. Yeah. That might be the end of the first quarter, depending first on first quarter. If you Memphis or Golden first, State, that's the first quarter. Uh, back, first quarter you really, point, why the hell not? You really had to work that's for the crazy, though, man. You got to work for every little point you had. Yeah, that's that's what basketball's supposed to be. Exactly. Well, your you, points. Like you, you, you play defense. Like, like honestly, go go back, go back to look at the tape for the uh, when um, um in the West um I want to say in the All Star game, I believe two thousand five. When they put in the entire Pistons starting lineup against the Western Conference All Stars, and shut an entire team down, like forget one person, it was team shutdown. Team shutdown. The team whole shut. team was shutting people down. Lots but then, of, but then they took them out. Well, won't, let, won't let me. Because that shit was boring. Didn't nobody want to see nobody play defense in the All Star game? Man, that was no, no, that no, was not real, real, not that real defense. Amazing. That was amazing. Let, let, me, let me put it. Let me, let me put it. The all the All Star game that that we just had just a few weeks ago was, it was so trash. Awful. It was it, it was, was so trash. awful. Trash. Let me, let me talk about it. It was so awful. I sat down. I started to watch old episodes of Matlock. That's how bad it was. Not Matlock. <laughs> it was Matt. bad. No, no Matlock. It was bad. Man, I, 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 I'd, I'd rather go to sleep. It wasn't Matlock bad. I, I I I almost started watching In the Heat of the Night. I almost started watching that. Oh, God the, <laughs> the, the all-star game to Indianapolis next year, and I don't think even I want to go. They picked the nastiest city. They got Cleveland, Salt oh Lake City. Bro, they like, they like, get all these small markets these all-star games and get this shit out the way so we can go back to L.A. and Chicago. No, see, I want a destination. See, here's the thing, here's the thing. The all-star game in Indy was supposed to be I want to say back in 2020, but obviously COVID happened. It was supposed to be that. Yeah, God um, didn't want that either. That's how bad it was. I, 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 I'm not. I'm not going. I'm not going to. I'm not going to disagree with you. I'm just saying but that was that was supposed to be Indiana. The final four was supposed to be Indiana that year or so. But Man. yeah, obviously COVID happened. So 
They get so, the yeah. Big Ten Championship every year and, and the NFL Combine. What else do they want? Hey, 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 man. I thought the yeah, Big hey, Ten man. Championship was in Chicago. No, no, Big Ten is no, in no, 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 football, football, football. Oh, okay. football. oh for football, yeah, football, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, but I tell you what, no matter if it's in Indianapolis or in Miami, city boys and city girls going to be oh. flocking no matter what. No, 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 no. Ain't no, nobody no. flocked to Utah, no, no. bro. Nobody went to Utah. Utah. <laughs> Didn't nobody go to Utah? <laughs> But see, see, but no, because all the niggas bought Canada Goose. <laughs> but see, but see, but see, the thing is, that, see, like, no, here's, here's the thing. If I'm gonna be spending hard earned money to go to like to a game, right? I just want to see the team actually play, actually play defense, actually like, being competitive. Now I don't want to see like you got you like remember that remember that spot in the All Star game and where it was like where it turned into a full blown one 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 on one with uh with Tatum versus Jalen Brown and everybody was just standing back and didn't play no defense. I'm like, I don't want to see. I'm like, I don't want to pay for that. That's a waste of money. Yes, you do. Oh, if you're a Boston no. fan. Here's the question for the coach. Man, I don't care about that. Here's the question for Boston. What yeah, do y'all yeah. think? We're going to talk about Love. Boston in a few minutes. And forget they, t- oh, they dunk the donuts. Oh, damn. What'd you no, say, Marcel? Dunk the donuts came from Rhode Island. You know that, right? <laughs> what I don't do y'all care think? Well, Matt was best talking, so I don't care. Hey, they keep talking over you. <laughs> Marcel got a good mic. That's why. What do y'all think about load management? Low, man- low management, <laughs> if done correctly, is great. But you know, when people intend it for great, some people use it for evil. Well, my Prime whole example, thing is, Kawhi Leonard. Kawhi, I feel like Kawhi Leonard. I feel like I feel like this. A lot of times, people come season. to see the superstars, right? Mm-hmm. So if my fl- favorite player is coming into Ooh. town, I'm gonna Ooh. buy a ticket. Uh huh. But then I'm gonna mm-hmm. be pissed off. If he not playing, exactly. right. because so, so, only on. reason only reason I bought the ticket was to see this was to see this guy. Wait, wait. So, so Haney, 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 Haney knows because we went to the uh, Lakers game one day, and LeBron and, didn't play. And LeBron showed up halfway through this first quarter with some buffs on. With some buffs on, <laughs> he was like, "Hey, everybody, <laughs> we're playing Toronto tomorrow. I'd rather play there <laughs> than here." <laughs> And LeBron, and that, and LeBron that's, that's the that's the thing. Like that's the thing that'll piss me off. Like. Bro, I, I paid all this money to come see you. And no tickets are not cheap. They're not. That's what I'm saying. They're not cheap. Especially when it's, when it's a big, when this is like the okay. Lakers, Celtics, right. Golden State. Oh, like, like a premier team. Is the most expensive tickets probably all year. And they, they usually oh, are. Yeah. So, so if I'm if I'm paying $200 plus to sit all the way in the nosebleed to come see Steph Curry, I expect to see fucking Steph Curry out there. I want to see Steph, Clay, Draymond. I want to see all of them. I want to see everybody, everybody, right? Everybody. But and if that motherfucker not playing, then we got a problem. Like nah, 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 he nah, just nah, don't want to play. Because nah, <laughs> like, he chuck on the fighting sneaker. <laughs> Put him in. <laughs> and see, <laughs> hey. and see, and see here today. That boy would say that, you know, even going back to what Chris was talking about, about like, you know, about our era of basketball, you know, about like you no know, two thousand so that we grew up in. Like guys like you no know, Tim Duncan, Dirk. Kobe or so they played unless they had like a torn ACL or something where they, they legit could not play, they were out there playing on that court. Yeah, yeah, exactly. They had to, they were and, with and the that's, I mean, bullshitting. It's, it's, Kobe it's, it's, played it's, it's, on a torn a on a torn Achilles, so it, it, it was too free play with a broken finger, Damn oh, oh, there oh. a whole season. You got Dirk you played with a finger. Played. Stop it. The man, the man averaged 20 some odd points with his left hand. True. But still, but but see that that's the thing. Like no, with like, and we we consider that the NBA has like the youngest like demographic of fans in the league or so. But you no, know, out of all like all the major sports or so, and with how like how much the sports have grown so much in the last like 10, 15 years, I mean, the low management I mean, is just terrible. I mean, it, 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 it just I, takes away from the product too. Like it, 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 it takes the integrity away from. Yeah, it takes it takes away yeah, from the product, and I right. you know, I think what they need to do, they just need to take ten games away from the season, make it a seventy-two game season, and then you probably wouldn't have that problem. Mm. No, what, no, no, no. What they need to do is keep the keep the games, but shrink the playoff the, the playoff schedules. There should be like six teams going to the playoffs. Well, you, be, I, I mean, feel, I feel like you can you can like keep the, the playoffs the same, right. but it should go back to a. Best, like one to uh, eight. What is it? Three. What was it like? Five. Best of five. five. 
Yeah, it, it, no, no, it, it's, it's gonna be, first gonna be no, it's gonna like, be best like, one. Like the higher you go up, it should the be playoffs, single the more dangerous. I will agree yeah, with that. Like, 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 the, like the only two series that be should be it should best be the conference seven, championship, should be the conference championship, and the, and the, the finals. Yeah, yep. It should definitely be one game. I still got his hand right. I mean, yeah. <laughs> Mike, before we were talking about the power of levels between high school, college, and well, professional ball. That's definitely a rule. That, that that's definitely something that needs to be changed. Single elimination playoff tournaments. Wait, champ. He said so. That should <laughs> that, that, be, <laughs> that, needs, that has to happen. Cause I mean, I mean, what it has to not. I mean, let let let's be. I mean, let's be honest. The NBA playing tournament. Let's oh, be honest. And the league will never admit this. But if you really think about it, the league created the playing tournament. For the Lakers, for LeBron James, and we are for being sure. completely honest. Oh my God! Let's, stop oh, saying that. Definitely, definitely. Be, because definitely he was won. about to, he was definitely about to miss the playoffs that year. I, let's he be honest. Won. Let's be it honest. Was, the Lakers was and 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 this this was what been like a, a second year in a row without LeBron yeah. in the playoffs. Yeah, no, it's not. He's he's in. He's in right, right now. Well, I'm saying that year, the year that they made the play in the playing game. No, he was in the play last time too. I can tell y'all one thing. I know we ain't on that subject right now, but y'all better watch out. He was in the playoffs. Yeah. <laughs> if it wasn't for the playoffs, like, oh, he would not be in the playoffs. Y'all. But yeah, single elimination playoff tournaments need to happen, especially for the NBA, because by the time three out of five happens, you're already dusted. And by the next week, you got okay. Guys. Okay, yeah. it's called playoff okay. basketball. Okay. It's called playoff hey, sports. Hey, you're supposed hey, to hey, play hey, your best. That's, that's, that's if you playoffs though, like. Right. If you're if you're a if you're a professional athlete and if you're around here making say twenty thirty million dollars or whatnot, I do not care. If you're up there saying that, oh man, yeah, we need to go to like you know a best of five series or we need to go to I'm tired. Eh, like, bro, you get like, paid bro, to run around. Got, wait, wait, bro, you got mofos out here who are literally getting up at six or seven o'clock in the morning to go and work an eight or ten hour job or so, and they come out to provide for their families, and they don't always get that same luxury. As far as saying that, oh well, you know, oh there's all this money, so on and so forth. Like, come on, man, like stop the cap. All I'm saying, all I'm saying, put your pants on and get your ass out there building that damn car. All right, Chris, that's nice. All I'm saying is good articulation. He's he's passionate about that. I'm serious. There needs to be some consistency (laughs) with playoffs. Consistency with what? What do you mean by consistency? Uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah. The bird, bird. You need a prayer and some. What do you mean by consistency, Marcel? Because it's the playoffs. The, like, what do you what mean? I was saying, what I was saying. Uh, single elimination. NCA. NCAA. March Madness though does it. Hey, right. Why? Why? Yeah, but you got to think. In March Madness, it's sixty four teams, brother. You got to have a single elimination. You got it's, to. Or that's that's gonna now, be like Champions now, League. Now, it's now, gonna be all wait, year. Wait, wait. Oh man. <laughs> now, if y'all if y'all didn't know if y'all didn't know. There's a rumor. There's a rumor that's going out that they're good, that they're going to expand the amount of teams that are in March Madness. There's a, what are they going to do? Uh, Put but, Mercy but, in there? But, 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 there's a rumor. I don't know how true it is or not, but it, it's been Henry Ford College out. in there. Henry Ford College is going to make the Ill, uh, March Madness. Old gate college but, community but, in but honestly, honestly, I'll say this. Wait, hold on, I, hold on, hold on. Henry Ford College versus uh, like you know Villanova, and <laughs> they beat Villanova. Man. <laughs> I never I mean, thought. Hey, all all it takes is one game. Oh, Last oh. minute buzzer beater. <laughs> right. Hey, all it takes is one game. Yeah. As the people at Purdue. Oh, people oh, you go. You go see me with an HFCC jersey. <laughs> mm-hmm. Hey, I got, I got my, I got my Fairleigh Dickinson shirt in the mail coming into my place right now. You got Western Iowa in one bracket and Central North Florida in the other. That's no. how you said Central be. North. You, 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 you directionals. Said- Right, I'm like, they like, be making the holidays, Central North, Central North, Florida. How bad they be making up? There's only 12 players and 12 people in the school. That's Literally, <laughs> they ain't even that's, got that's books, up. they like scrolls, scrolls, yeah, but... and tablets. That's messed up. But yeah. uh, my last, uh, my last question is for the coaches on this panel is. What would you like to see in the future, not just on teams like HFA, but like nationwide? What would you like to see more? What would you like to see in the future to make the game better? Make the game better? 
the game better, more enjoyable for the fans, coaches, players, everybody. Hey, everybody. Um, as far as high school, we just need commitment. Okay. It's just the commitment from as far as from the school, the staff, the parents, mm-hmm. even the players. Like, right. like even even commitment from the players, like these kids nowadays are not committed to anything. Like they have they 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 have no type of commitment to like you be like, yeah, we got practice. Well, I gotta do this. My friend having a birthday party, you be like Fuck your birthday party. Okay. Like, like, like we got one kid on the team who missed practice just so he could go play basketball with his friends. <laughs> with his oh, friends. No, 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 no. No, no. No. Like, like he, he missed basketball practice <laughs> to go you're play pickup basketball with his friends. Wait, I kid you not. Oh, I want to play basketball, just not with you. Is that just not with y'all? I, Damn. I, I, no. I'll put yeah. the flag out. That's the flag. Yeah, yeah, I know we had a championship game today. I was playing with my boys. Un- 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 I'm I'm playing my- he said he said it was nice outside. He said That's it was nice outside, outside and he went to go play friend. with his friends. Man, that is a technical he, foul. We, we had practice, bro, <laughs> with the game the next day. And he like, yeah, <laughs> no. I I want want to go play. And he came in. Hard work. And he came into practice and just said it with his chest with so much conviction. Like, yeah, I just rather get to go play with my friends. I rather you had lied and said you were sick or something. Like I was hurt. Yeah. Right. I was sick. Yeah, okay, that's one thing that needs to change. Oh, kids need to learn. Died. Kids oh. need to learn how to tell lies. Good lies. <laughs> treat, treat, treat me like this, Jody from. Uh, this man no, told I, the I, truth. I, I lied. I know. I, I, hey, I, I, he uh, just he straight up and was like, "Yeah, I went to go play basketball with my friends." But I get that. Some of the some of the lies, kids, man. Like my girlfriend's a teacher, some of the stuff I hear from her class is just like, "Oh my god!" Wait, wait, wait. Would y'all would y'all say that the um would y'all like I can't kind of in extension that would y'all say that the kids also need to have like. That would would y'all say that it that is good for them to play basketball, which is great, but to not neglect you know the school part of things because if we're being honest, would y'all probably say that it that they probably have what? Hear me out. School? Me what out. is that? What would y'all would y'all say as coaches that like you know as as talented as your kids are, um as your kids are, we may play with they may be you know good and everything, but in all respects, of, they probably have a better chance on being a doctor or being a good lawyer than actually making this side the NBA. It's not. It's. It, I mean, yeah, they definitely. Right, have, that's like a that. higher percentage. But at the same time, wouldn't you rather be good enough to get your school and pay for it so you can become that doctor or lawyer? I mean, I'm just I mean, saying. I, I'm just saying. I'm not saying. I'm not saying you're gonna be good enough to make it to the NBA, but you could be good enough to where you can have your parents ain't gotta come out of pocket. Your school it can be paid for, so you can get that degree yeah. to, it's do, to do what you want to do. I mean, it, I mean, it's great. I mean, like, I, I, and at the like, same time, you can still play the sport that you like to play. And plus, yeah, it also I mean, teaches you, I, like, it teaches you stuff that you need to work on now into right. where you're gonna be. Like, you need to learn teamwork. You need to learn right. conflict Leader, resolution, leadership, leadership, being on a team, discipline, commitment, accountability, and, and, uh, and all, exactly. all of that. And at HFA, and at HFA, you, I mean, back in, at least back in my day, you learned different cultures, how they, mm-hmm. you know, how to intermingle. You know what I mean? Yeah, oh, yeah that's, still, that's still know. a big thing for sure. Yeah, it, it's, just, it's just like, you know, like, and with the way that, you know, the way that basketball is right now, you've got so many options. you got people who are, if they're going into college and then they're going to league, or you got people going playing overseas, or you got people t- um, taking the route of going to the G League for, and for going to college eligibility and then going to, I'm, I'm trying to get into league that way. There's so, so, so many options, way more than how it was even 10 years ago. Which is great for the expansion of the league, but at the same time, kind of what Chris was alluded to before, you know, when you have like those core things, you know, in your back pocket, those that you we have that strong foundation, then you're going to be set. Because how many people do we actually see on on college platform? Because not everybody get not everybody gets to Duke or yeah, the Kentuckys but, or Kansas or like the elite or like the right. uh, the big major schools in basketball. You know, yeah. My thing is, peep kids nowadays. Let's, I'm taking it back to high school. Kids nowadays don't understand what it takes to become a player on Duke. Yeah, it's a lot. Not just Duke. Not even Duke. Like, 
Eastern Michigan. You have to be yeah. some sort of great player to be on. You have let's to practice. Say, you have to go right way. You got to be able. You got to be able to anybody, play basketball. Anybody that can make it to the next level with this college coming from high school, you got to be damn some type of some type of good. Right, yeah. and to make have, it, and be to make it to make it exactly to make it to to the next level, which is college basketball. And then you got to be even better than that to make it to the next level, which is the NBA or even overseas professionally. Or the so, new league that are the Saudi or the Saudis are trying to. Well, I'm playing. Moving on. Go ahead. Oh, I was about to say they trying to pull a live off. I, 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 they're trying to get LeBron James for two hundred million. But it's just, it's just like these kids. Like I said, these kids nowadays they live in this instant world where they want to be. If they're not instantly good, then they quit. The instant gratification, man. Mm-hmm. That that's that's where that's where all this this social media and all this yeah. you know YouTube has really messed up sports in general because a lot of these kids just see that and just want to be instantly good without putting the work in. I I, mm-hmm. I I'll I'll, I'll say it right here and just kind of essential what you're saying before. Uh, when you talk about like the that instant gratification that that fixes itself, a lot of people would think that especially with sports, um, the instant gratification. It's like a microwave. It's like you put something in the microwave, you put it in for like say twenty like like two minutes or so, and then you take it out and then boom, you think it's gonna be really good. But the people that you see, the Steph Curry, the LeBron, the Kevin Durant, are like the greats in the league. It was the Instagram catch for um, for them. It was a crock pot. And we put them in the crock pot. And we and we put them in the crock pot. It ain't gonna be ready in the um it's not gonna be ready in the first 30 minutes. But if you leave that thing on low and you let that thing cook for say seven whole uh, eight hours. Whole house smelling good, and that's how it's like for them. It's it's like change the way you think about things. Would would y'all say that? Change the way yeah, yeah, that's. I mean, if that's how you want to put it, that's exactly how it is. Like exactly, it's, it's the grind. That's exactly how it is. Like these these players been been cooking for for years. Right, hold on. Right. Years. Good. Hold, hold for years. Yeah, hold yeah. like 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 what I say. Like what I said to these new players for any sport, like basketball, soccer, football, anything. If you want to be the greatest, at, at, if you see Steph Curry, yeah, you see like you know Calvin Johnson, you see you know Federoff or anybody, you see like the Messi. great Messi even. Let's just keep it at basketball for right now. If you see Steph right. Curry shoot threes, you know how many threes Steph Curry shoots from every single spot on the you know on the three point mm-hmm. line to make That's those a, perfect but, crazy but you, shots you every game. He, and he still, but he still do this. Even after becoming the greatest shooter ever, and I day. keep on telling that to all my all he my players. I'm like, you always got to go back to your basics. He still, he always still, Steph Curry basics. probably put up to 500 to a thousand shots probably a day probably after day. after yeah. after, yeah. after practice mm-hmm. to, to still be this great. Mm-hmm. And and it, and it was after four championships. It was after the MVP. It was after the All NBA. All after selection. the injury, then come back from injury. Then come back from injury. Right? All that stuff to, to be see. better than what right. you were for the four championships. Right, like that. That's the thing. And, just, and just and just and just look at it with basketball. What 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 do we do every time after you stretch? You do the layup line. Mm-hmm. Every single time, and that's the most basic move in basketball is the layup line. And they still do it professionally before every single game. Every game, because you go back to the basics at all mm-hmm. times. Or I can break, tell how I can tell how good a team is throw. by the layup line. Or, oh, free throw! Definitely, you can definitely. That's how. That's, like, that's yeah, definitely that. what I do. Like I sit back <laughs> and I watch the other team in the layup line, and I'll be like, Ah, okay, they they gonna yeah, be good. They go, they gonna be tough. Hey, or I'll be I, like, I, Oh, I, we I, could not... we could probably beat them. Yeah, yeah. Or, I, it's I, it's, I very, it's very seldom that they come out. And you say, oh, okay, I wasn't expecting that. Once okay. you watch the layup line, it's very rare. But exactly. nine times out of ten, you can look at that layup line and be like, oh, okay. You give me like two just, minutes of like watching just a the other team lay the ball up. I'll be like, okay. Mm-hmm. Or, or, or better yet, and I'm sure that y'all, it, it, this gets to y'all, y'all nerves as, a, as coaches, you got to make your free throws. Oh, oh well, them, them you easy make points. Free. They call it free throws for a reason because, I mean, you get, but you at the same time, free. but at the same time, that's still one of the hardest shots in Hard the gym shots. because everybody, yeah, everybody is pressure. watching. Everybody is watching. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. That's that's another thing that makes free throws hard because everybody in the gym 
is watching you. Now, when you just shooting, they're mm -hmm. watching other people, you know, out there on the court. But when you at the free throw line, all eyes is on you. All eyes. You know, and I, I, I said this. And I, I said it's a lot of professional. Yeah, I said the same thing. Well, me and Chris had a he had a uh, me, Chris, and some other uh, great debates had an argument about soccer. Like the penalty shot is probably the hardest shot. To yeah, make. Just not for the shooter, but even for the goalie. That is probably the hardest shot ever because every you, all eyes are on you. And like so you for the goalie or for like, the shooter, like, or can for, you, for both, for both. Well, yeah, it like it like if you go back to the world to the World Cup final between um between France and Argentina, which was like insane. Well, like can you imagine, like. Think about that. You got all the weight of your country on your shoulders. You got forget everybody in the stadium. You got your the entire world. countries. I'm about to say the you world. got the world watching. The world everybody. watching you. Everybody you watching. crazy. You got the world watching you. Like literally shoot these like, penalty shots. Like crazy. And, and, and you, that's uh, a different pressure. Or, or, or it's one thing hey, hey. or but if you if you hit it and they go to whoop, it's gone. But yeah, like, uh, for a free throw. I mean, for the best, you know, like LeBron, Giannis, you know, Joel. And, and Giannis me. actually worked on his free throws. Like he, he, he like, did. He got, he got better. He, he, he got better. I mean, like he, he has to work on releasing it a little faster. But you know, right. But but, 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 like, but, like, but even for them play, players, free throw, they they still not the best free throw shooters. No, like, because right. it's it's a exactly. hard it's, shot. Like I'm, Le I'm pretty sure LeBron, LeBron lost the take a game with his shot because of a free throw. I, I'm pretty sure LeBron would take a a, a game buzzer beating shot over a free throw at the end of the game. I would. I would. Yeah. Just would. because just because of the pressure of a free throw at the end of the game, and everybody like this this game depends on this you making this one shot, and everybody is watching. Mm -hmm. yeah. Like that's a lot of pressure. And then no, imagine being. True. In high school, and everybody in the gym just watching you, and everybody and everybody making noise, everybody being all right. And, and if you and if you were no, and if you were like everybody making noise, that's probably the everybody. loudest place in the world and, at that and, time. And Coach Chris is Coach Chris is ready to make a T-shirt if you missed his free throw. <laughs> <laughs> he, he, he he got the clipboard. He holding up. He I like, got the right. camera on my phone right now. Got the camera ready. <laughs> it's on the flick. He's about to be a me. Uh, that's hilarious. But uh, we're going to transition to the NBA franchise conversation. Yeah, that's um, good. That's good talk. We're going to start yeah. off with – I'm going to start off with a segment of basketball that we really don't talk about, oh, first God. as men and as, you know, the sports world in general. What is your favorite WNBA team or NBA player? Right now or like all time? All, all, all time or right now? It doesn't matter. It's got to be. It's it's the shot. I love the shot. I'm not gonna lie. I watched. I used <laughs> to go shot. to shot games more than I went to Pistons games back in the day, and it was just man because the tickets were five dollars. And it came. Well, the, the, the shot the game point is, part of the WNBA. Cool. The shot games anymore. was like they, definitely. They was definitely they, high. They, they were high. Yeah. They were lit. The Detroit shot owned the WNBA in the early 2000s. People need to remember oh. that. Whoa, they, whoa, did. Whoa. they did. They did. In the two thousands. Oh, I was about to say the two thousands. No, I, no, I, I know that whole Houston. That whole Houston. No, Houston, Houston, Houston too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I know Houston won four straight in the in the yeah. late nineties. I know they did. Yeah. But we're talking two thousands. Two thousands. Two thousands. With beer, with Bill Lambeer as their coach. Wait, wait, you you said. Okay, Bill Lambeer as their coach. Oh, okay. I'm not sure. Lambeer. Of course. Yeah, of course. You have to win if you're Bill Lambeer. He just won with the Aces, though, didn't he? Yep. He just won with yep. the Aces. Yep. Yeah. I mean, that just tells you how good of a coach Bill Lambeer is. He just don't get his respect. I mean, I mean, not only, not, not only that, but yeah. even like, you know, even like a coach like Dawn Sale. I mean, she's like, I believe, one out of 11 women, too. Like, I, well, she's won in the league. She's won as a player. She won championships as a coach. Mm -hmm. and, and South Carolina probably will win again this year with the women's. I mean. And guess what? No one talks about it. That's crazy, though. What about that? That's crazy. That's crazy. And the crazy thing is a lot of these women players can probably beat a lot of these guys it, that's in the NBA yeah. now. They could probably right. beat Carmelo now. I'm not even oh, talking about, about – I'm brother. talking – I'm talking about like recent players. I don't want to see that's like, 
A washed up Carmelo Anthony? Yeah. Think about it. I don't know about that, bro. Hey, Hoodie Mellow. Hoodie Mellow was a Hoodie Mellow will put up 40 in the NBA right now. Hoodie Mellow. <laughs> You're right. You're right. <laughs> Against who? Hey, only if Against they let who? him put a hoodie on on the court, he would be Against a whole different point. player. Against, Against who? Against Charlotte. The Pistons, point. maybe? Not against Charlotte. Florida State. Charlotte at this point. Oh, Charlotte. Yeah, they get you, put, you, you put Mellow in this league, the way it's open. No, 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 no. Huh. Hoodie Mellow, to be Mello, specific. Mellow might average 33. Prime Mellow will probably what? be a problem. Okay, in okay. Prime Mellow, yes. You know, yes. You, you know, uh, you know wait, real, real quick before we go back to a woman, and I said before, oh, there's, 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 if there's two people who I feel are who are criminally underrated, but as far as, you know, as far as, as, far as their career is concerned, definitely Bob number four. one, Moldy Malone, that's the first thing that comes to mind. Because you never hear his name when people actually talk about the best big man who actually played in the game. You look up by look at his resume, so it's stacked, like big time stacked. And another guy who was underrated for his time, Mark Price. Who the heck is that? Fisher Price, the no, toy company. Mark Price, Mark Price. Mark Price. The white boy. Mark Price. Say white boy. Yeah, Mark. Yeah. Mark, Mark Price. who? Who's Mark Price? Mark Price. Mark Price. Mark Price a, was, he was a shooting guard for Mark, Mark Price. Was like a hybrid. Of, Mark Price was like a hybrid of Steph. Oh, like Steph Curry and Steve Nash. Remember him. In the um, in the 1990s. Mark Price was was that guy. He was I mean, that I'm guy. Cleveland, guy. Wait, Cle- Cleveland what, was a team in the 90s? I'm like, I knew, I knew there was. It's cool. But it was, all, it was all about Chicago in the East. What do you mean? Oh, you mean that? Oh, wait, Bird. You're talking about that Cleveland team that had the misfortune of it's being Cleveland. involved with Jordan. It's Cleveland. Yeah, they're they're the one of those teams that was in the Jordan era. That's all it was. Uh, it's Cleveland. Yeah. Like a lot of teams. It's Cleveland. That's all you gotta know. Well, I mean, a lot of people went down because of Jordan. <laughs> exactly. It's <laughs> Cleveland. Right. Yeah. I mean but but yeah. but but when when they talk about the Pistons and the and the Bulls rivalry, that 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 one rivalry, we what they asked. No, that was a war. And we won. And we and, we and we won. <laughs> but but who Hey, we anyway, won. but anyway, let's move on. Let's go back to the WNBA. What's your favorite team? What's your favorite player? So we can move on with the next one. Give me Cheryl Swoops. Okay. No, actually, I take that back. Oh. Give me um, uh, uh shit, um, <laughs> Reggie's sister. Okay, Cheryl Ooh. Miller. Cheryl Miller, boy. But she wasn't in the WNBA. No matter. It, she she wouldn't be the goal. She, she would be the coach. Oh, if, if she was in the WNBA, she probably oh, definitely would have been. My what, my what, my what my what, what, team, what team would she be on though? The Lakers. It, it, well, the, the Sparks. Is on probably, probably the Sparks. Probably Sparks, Sparks of the Fever. Yeah, probably. Yeah, or Indiana, Indiana or Indiana, Indiana Fever. fever. With her, with yeah, her, yeah. Next yeah. I would, I would, I would say. Or the Liberty. My, and um, in my in my case, because one of the big cities. One of the big cities, exactly. And um, in my in my case, or so, um, my choice because I've literally seen her entire career and all that she's done, not just in COD, but in um at, at the WNBA as well. Maya Moore. Yeah, Maya's okay. She's okay. The the resume itself, yeah, is so stacked. Yeah. She could be in the she could be in the she's going to be in the basketball hall of fame. She's like she's like a she's like a Tim Duncan. Like she she has a stack roster, but it was like a quiet stack. It wasn't mm-hmm. like, oh, this person was Maya Moore. It was like Maya Moore. Man, is that like when and and, and my she only played seven years. She she like, she, I was about to say she yeah, because she stopped yeah, early to, to help my man with that court case, right? Oh, well, well, what did yeah. you say, Chris? <laughs> Wait, what did you say, Chris? I didn't say anything. Oh, I I don't Yeah, she only played seven years. Yeah. And she could have very well, like, you no, know, she she very well had like, still be playing right now. She had a good five to six years left in her. She looked yeah. at her prime. Yeah. Honestly. But considering you go over with you you win four championships in seven years. Every year you're on the first, you know, you're um you're on WNBA selection. You got the college resumes there. You won championship and not the in the Olympics as well, but she won everywhere. Everywhere. I mean, yeah. She she won everywhere. So I mean yeah. that's college, that's high school, college, professional I'm a, I'm a, my favorite WNBA team was the comics. But my favorite WNBA player Just is Tarazi. Okay. Ooh, Tarazi. Tarazi. Yeah, the, 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 yeah, she be, she be. She is to me, I'm gonna say she is the GOAT. 
when mm. it comes to fe- when it comes to female basketball, just because if you look at her resume, it's it's fucking crazy. That's crazy. As Actually, far as play, college, like, ridiculous. As far as college and WNBA, like she, she won at both levels a lot. Consistently, I'll talk consistently. That too. So is it, it that's that's definitely my top woman player. Okay, okay. All right. Nice. Lisa Leslie's a close second for me. She's a close second. Lisa, Lisa Leslie, mine. That was my favorite player. Lisa Leslie, okay. All right. That was one of them that uh, revolutionized the game for sure. She was oh, definitely, show. yeah. She was definitely one of the first females to dunk in the WWE. Well, she was the first female to dunk in the NBA game. Dunk, yeah. game right? Put LA, uh, put LA Sparks on the map. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm looking at Diane Taraji's resume, and wow. Wow. It's crazy, right? I know it's crazy, but I didn't know it was that crazy. It's, cra- it's crazy. That's, 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 <laughs> that's, yeah, you, yeah. So, right. my, so, so my favorite WBA Demi- player of all time. Oh. LA Sparks. Oh. We got, we, we got to put Monica Wright in there from Love and Basketball. We got to do it. You gotta oh do God, it. Get off my computer, <laughs> oh, you know we, what? Yeah, we have to do it. We have to do it. We gotta put it in there. Honorable mention. All right, but I, I, I also had I also had Tarazi as Tarazi as my favorite player. She was she was amazing. Still is amazing. I'm gonna say she still. Did, still did she just her. play her last season? Last season uh, for uh, Phoenix, I think uh, it was. I, I yeah. But I, I think she what just she Chris? just played her last season. I think I, I think this she retired after this year. Uh, and then they uh, lose in the finals. Yep. Yeah, I think they lost. I, I, think, I, I believe they so. Too. They lost uh um um uh, to the Aces. Okay. And, okay, and another, okay. I, I, and another I one a lot of people don't 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 mention is uh Sue Bird. Sue oh. Bird. <laughs> Sue Bird. Also, I have a, a I have too. a close second. And I and I'm I'm so sorry I forgot her name, Candace Parker. Oh, see, yeah, oh, yeah. Listen, that was listen here, man. I'm so Candace sorry, Parker, Candace. Candace Parker just made me mad because of who the hell she married and had a baby by. That's uh, hey, hey, uh, hey, okay. man. That's hey, cool. Hey. That's all. That's all good. That's all. We good. gotta talk about. We gotta talk about that. that, that that's on. A, that's on a whole other episode, though. <laughs> whole, whole that'll be on. That'll be on Chris and Chris. That'll be on Chris yeah, and Chris. That's, that's listen, we I feel, I feel disrespected. Like I, I, we all feel disrespected. We At that point, I knew I had a, ch- I knew I had a shot. Shit, I mean, hell. Speaking of yeah. shot, uh, we're gonna oh, move on to, on, bro. We're gonna move on to my top ten NBA franchises of all time, yeah, with everybody's participation, because everybody's gonna have a chance to give their. Uh, we are. Yes, I will explain in a second. So I'm going to name my top 10 franchises, each number going up from 10 to 1. And I will give you guys a chance to give me your favorite player. No honorable mentions, no listing off other players. What's your favorite player from that, from that franchise? From that franchise. Mine's, all, mine's all going to be big men, just so you know. Okay. So honorable mentions. Now, th- I did this based on finals record. Okay. So how many championships wow. you have. So, all right. So, honorable mentions we have the Milwaukee Bucks. They went to the finals three times, won twice. And their best player to me, forgetting about the 1971 championship, is Giannis. Of course. That's, that's, that's hands down, probably. Over, yeah. over the captain? Over what? I mean, Will? You mean, uh, you mean, Kareem? No. No, Kareem, Kareem. no, no. Kareem. I mean, he was Luau at the time. No, it was uh, it, it was uh, yeah, Rock. Was I think it was. He was Luau Cinder at the time, wasn't he? Yeah. No, no, he, he changed like well, he got, he was. No, no, no. He, you know, he he was Luau Cinder when he won the championship when, in '71. Oh, okay, okay, okay. When Milwaukee, he was Luau, wasn't he? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, my, my 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 bad, my bad. Then he went to LA. He was like, oh, I want to, you know, I want to change my life, and then he became Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Yeah, I think that worked out well for him. 
Yeah, it, it, I think yeah. it worked out pretty well. <laughs> it worked out really well. Mm-hmm. But um, at this point, Giannis got all the records, right? True. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I mean, I'm. Mean, I mean, Giannis got all Milwaukee yeah. records. Yeah, I mean, he he oh, he's the all time lead. He's the all time lead scorer in the franchise history. Oh yeah, damn. Yeah, yes. he is. That was quick. But he can't hit a free throw to save his life. God damn. Hey, I, I you mean, don't he, need to. The way he attacked the rim, it's all hey, right. You don't attack the rim. They just touch him like oh, foul. Like, um, I mean, that's I've that's never anybody. seen. I've never seen a man score forty points from the free throw line like Giannis <laughs> did in Detroit. And he kept following them. I was like, stop touching them. Just let them just let them shoot. Just stop. Just stop touching them. Just stop. I was there for the Chris was there too. We paid all that money for the playoffs. We were yeah, able, we, well, we the, the thing about it is Giannis yeah, running to them. But see, again, Giannis is one of those guys who were like, I have the utmost respect for because like he came like how he came to the league, how like yo, how he came to the league. He didn't have like, you know, the skill set, like the skills that they have right now. And but to his ass, you know, from where from I came in to where he is right now. So I mean, like honestly, talk about Rice Richard story. The man forever gives my respect, man. Like big right. time. Right. For All real. Right. So for so number two for honorable mentions is Dallas Mavericks. They went twice Dirk. to the championships, won once. Dirk. And their best player, of course, is Dirk. Dirk. Is Dirk. 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 I mean, who's gonna argue that? I, I, Luka I, is a close second. Who? Wait, who? Who's second? Luca. Luca, oh, not, oh, not yet, not Stop. yet. Stop. Steve, yeah, Nash, not Steve Nash at Steve Nash. I say Steve Nash or Jason Steve Kidd. Nash no, I say Steve Nash from the Phoenix, probably. the Phoenix era. Phoenix area, Phoenix, Phoenix. Phoenix Nash, yes. Dallas, Dallas Nash was good too. Nah. I oh, put I Mike Finley over over Luca. <laughs> Man, <laughs> Michael, Michael Finley. God damn! I ain't heard that name in this, years. Years. In disrespect. My wow. God. Anyway, number three for honorable mentions. My last honorable mention. I gotta say his name on the show when I talk about basketball. Cleveland Cavaliers went five times, lost four, and won yeah, one. I, I, I I wonder I wonder who's their best player. Uh, I mean, their best player is obviously the I King mean, LeBron Mario James. Chalmers. <laughs> this nigga said, oh, yo, he, didn't even play for he didn't even play for Cleveland. He played for Miami. Oh, this motherfucker right here, man. All right, Big Z. No, I got LeBron James as the best player in Cleveland. Yeah, yeah the, the, the kid from Akron, the king. <laughs> Jesus Christ, my son. I mean, I'd just man. be hating if I if this I man was saying said Mario else. Chalmers. Who else? Who else would you do? Katie. Who else second? would you put on there? D Wade. He oh, only played for like three he months. He but played. Cleveland? He played he for played. three months. I he played. didn't even play. He didn't even play the full three months. He played like three games with Cleveland. It was like and they that team was stacked. That team was stacked. And it and was like played. and was that's because he wanted to go back to Miami. He's like, yeah, this. Shit no, no, he didn't go to Miami though. He didn't go to Miami though. He went to Chicago. Hey, that was, hey, no, Chicago. I'm talking about after he left Cleveland. He, he left. Not. He left Miami. Went to Chicago. Left Chicago. Back to went Miami. to Cleveland, and then went back to Miami. No, 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 no. He got traded to Utah, and then Utah bought him out, and then that's how he ended up back in Miami. Oh, I wouldn't want to. No, I don't want to live here. <laughs> he, I don't want to live here. But funny because he got he got I'm but funny because he got ownership in the in the Jazz now, which is funny. So I'm all right. All right, so we're gonna move on to my top ten NBA franchises of all time. Number ten. This is now remember, this is based on finals record. All right. All right. Number 10 is the Houston Rockets. Oh, yeah, yeah. They yeah. went, they won uh, twice, lost twice. And I believe they, they, no, they won. I no, they, won they, they, they won twice and they, they lost won twice. twice. They won twice. They, they won twice. went four times. They went four, they went four times, times and they won twice. That was the uh Twin Towers era, wasn't it? It was the first time they the first time that they lost was when um they played against Boston I think in the eighty six finals I believe the the um the uh, the other two times were ninety four ninety five so yeah, so ninety four ninety five so that's, that's when they had Ralph Sampson Kenny the Jet Smith and Kenny the Jet Smith Ralph Sampson won't even in the league at that point but um in eighty no 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 I was talking about the ones with with Hakeem. 
The one. Oh yeah, no, I ain't talking about that. Oh yeah, I'm talking about in the eighties when they. Yeah, that was Rob Sampson. Yeah, that was Rob. Okay, that's Sampson. Before, before, before the incident. Um, but yeah, it was. So that's. So what's the uh, what's the uh, Houston Rockets' best player? Oh, okay, okay, oh, okay. There's no debate. Hakeem Olajuwon. Hakeem the Dream. We we say we saying the best or our favorite. Our favorite. Oh, Tracy McGrady. Franchise. This guy's a Tracy. Look, okay, Tracy hey, McGrady. Hey man. Thirteen. Hey man. How many? How many points did he score in like thirteen seconds? That man. 13, that man scored thirteen points in, 13 in points thirty seconds. seconds. <laughs> he said, "Found me." The real OGs know. I got you. But yeah, Hakeem, Tracy McGrady, yeah, James Hakeem. Harden, franchise, Stevie franchise, yeah. Man. Even though, even though they like, you know they they can never get over the hump. Nope, can never. I love, I the, love the West is stacked. The West is too stacked for Houston to do anything anymore. Oh, yeah. Uh, number nine, we have the New York Knicks. Oh, eight Shit, time, no, no. eight appearances in the finals, Man. won twice. And when when the last time they won a championship, Chris? The last time they won a championship was nineteen. Wait, nineteen seventy three. Nineteen seventy three. I don't think anybody was even born when that happened. They was out there. They got a LeBron James record. Them niggas suck. So based on that, so so based on Haney's uh, opinion, who was the best New York Nick? Chris Charles. John Starks. This nigga said, Fuck who, Chris wait, Charles. Wait. He hit my nigga. <laughs> That's why I said he. <laughs> No Patrick Ewing, no uh, no uh, uh, no, no Carmelo it, Anthony. I no on surreal they'll probably it'll have to be Pat or Carmelo. Yeah, you know I. I oh no no no, uh, no Phil Jackson. Walt Frazier. Walt Frazier. No 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 Jeremy oh, yeah. no Jeremy Lin. Walt Frazier. Yeah. No Jeremy. No, no, all right, all right, Chris, you're, you're fired from the <laughs> podcast. <laughs> Is you there a way Jeremy, I can mute Chris? Did you shoot. say Jeremy Lin? They put 55 hey. on Kobe and the Lakers in the garden, man. Hey. That was a on his hey. head. Hey. I respect that, man. That was, Kobe. That was an off yeah. day for Kobe. Hey, man. For, three, for three weeks, that man was not giving people the Three big. weeks on hey. Vine. Hey. They gave my man a whole HBO documentary about him, okay? A whole documentary. Only three people watched it. His mom, his mom, and his mom. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I, I would say... Um, Cause like, cause I, cause I was, I've never seen Walt Frazier, so, and I know Willis Reed, he just passed away, God bless his soul. But I would say, um, yeah, probably, it probably would be Mellow. No, Oakley? I'm not playing, anyway. I, I, it'd probably be Nick, 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 Nick Mellow, so. It's, it's okay. either Pat, to me, it's either Pat or, or Mellow. Pat or Mellow, yeah. Yes. Then with no championships. Yeah. We're just their, their best, in the garden. Their best year, their best year to win it would have been like 20... 2012, 2013. 2012, 2013. 2013. That was their one of their best years with in the in the the mellow era. Their, that best, was their, best, their best year to win was 1999 with a shortened season. They were not gonna win that. They were not gonna win that. <laughs> they made it to the finals though. When they and lost they to San Antonio, gonna... right? Yeah. <laughs> I'm I'm sure they even won a the game. They would if if they would have won the if they would have won the finals that they year, I think they would have been they, I, if they had won against the Spurs in '99, I think they would have been the first six seeded team to win a championship, to win the whole thing. The Pistons about to be the first eliminated team to win a championship this year. Just wait. What? Just watch. Oh my God. Just watch. Hey man, somebody mute this man. He 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 on the rampage tonight. So just just watch. watch. He, he ain't got nobody at home with him, so he just he just over there saying whatever he, he want to say. Let's cut up. <laughs> she just watched the Pistons do it. Okay, number number eight, we got the the Philadelphia 76ers. Nine oh, appearances. We, come on, nine hey, appearances, I, three wins in the finals. I don't know, um, man. You got Doctor J. Yeah, I got hey, you got, you J. got I'm Moses Malone. Man, bump Moses Malone. Hey, 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 man, hey, hey, put some respect on Moses Malone, man. Hell, I, 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 Doc, Doc, sure. Doc won the champ. Doc won the championship with the 76ers then. Yeah, yeah. They don't win that championship without Moses Malone. They were being real. This man and Moses Malone. First of all, Moses. This Moses didn't part the Red Sea, so I don't care about Moses. Malone. <laughs> he didn't move a whole ocean. Hey, man. Well, 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 he needs somebody at home with him hey, hey, for him I mean, to act right. I see. He just bounced the basketball. He didn't part no sea. Oh, so we just gonna go past uh 
Joel Embiid. Fuck Joel Embiid. Nah. Too too early. If I see Joel on yeah, site, it's I'm, got I'm it's got to be AI. 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 Yeah. AI influence. I, Dr. J. Oh yeah. Steal, steal kids now. I mean, too- I mean, I mean, I mean, AI like literally is like one of those people. When you talk about people like like change the culture of the league, that's like for sure. Like, all right. Speaking sure. of speaking about changing the culture of the of the league, we got to put in you know put in a, you know an ad for our mental health, and our mental health is very important. Now, this our is- friends, our friends at the uh, Philadelphia 76ers would like to put in an honorable mention for Ben Simmons. Oh, Christ. <laughs> oh, Christ. And guess ben. what? They traded his ass. I'm about to say, I'm about to say, ben, I'm about to say, ben, I'm about to say ben McBrick Simmons. McBrick hey, Simmons. Y'all that playoff game where he missed. Where he hesitated on an easy ass layup. Marcel, Mar- Mar- oh, wait, Marcel, Mar- wait, 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 I got uh, something. Mar- 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 Marcel, 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 yeah. Marcel, I was flying out of at, I was flying out of at, um, flying out of Atlanta, and like the and like the game, like after that was on like that same night. And I was flying out of Atlanta that same night. Everybody at the airport, everybody at the airport was going crazy in the bad way. They was like, "Bro, this dude is trash." Like, the, it's and, Ben Simmons. And, yeah, man. But like, I don't know. I will say he's the master of the triple single. I will say that he 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 got <laughs> PhD. He got a PhD in getting triple singles, man. Uh, it's you gotta right. put you gotta put that event where uh, I want his agents. I want uh, agents. And uh, Jr. Smith, uh, that Jr. Smith play. Oh my God! Right. Oh, when he thought he thought they had no time or whatever the hell it was. No, he, he went to the other rim. Bro, he had an appointment for the liquor store. He didn't care. Mm-mm-mm. All right, number seven, we got the Detroit Pistons. <clears throat> Zeke. Seven oh. appearances, three wins. Should have been four. If, 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 Should have been if it, 75. What do you mean? If it wasn't for injury, I would definitely say Grant Hill. Grant Hill? As one of the hey, 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 man. Hey, look. If look. it wasn't for injury. Grant Hill in the Jordan hey, era, you gonna James pick Grant LeBron Hill James. in the post Jordan era? Hey, put some respect on Brother Grant's name, man. Yeah, I'm in, putting the post Jordan, in the post Jordan <laughs> era, you better put some I'm respect put. on the going to work Pistons. You better put some. Yeah, I, Chris, remember hey, hey, before, I before that, before the going to work Pistons, we grew up on Grant Hill. I didn't grow up on it. I didn't watch I basketball have. till 03. Yeah, yeah, I, it's true, I, I remember a couple of games. It was Grant Hill, Jerry and I'm Stout. sure. And like us, and like a near retirement Joe Dumars. And, and I'm sure you remember watching Jesus is Crucifixion. I'm sure you remember watching that as well. You're right, but, you old head. I also remember baseball games being played on UPN. Bam. All right. And the next day, shoot, Noah built the ark. That's how old you going back. I know my history, boy. She is. I know my history too. UPN at all the sports. They had yeah, the yeah, Tigers, yeah, yeah. the Pistons. At what? But I got Ben Wallace. That's my favorite Pistons player. Oh, Ben Wallace. Tayshaun Prince. Tayshaun Prince. Okay. Yeah. Don C. Miller. For, 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 the block, for the block alone. For the block alone against the Pistons. For anybody who the- doesn't know, the Reggie Miller block yeah. was a goal team. Tayshaun. The best block of all time. Hey, yo, what, what did you just say, Chip? Best block. Of- what did you say? was a goal team. No, it wasn't. Stop. It was not a goal team. That was a Stop. block. I'm, I'm giving. I'm giving. I'll, I'll say for me. Um, I mean, I really don't care. I hate the Pistons. So <gasps> it's Zeke. <gasps> okay, I, Isaiah. Uh, Isaiah, the, the, Isaiah I, I, Thomas. But best player, I would say, yeah, it's, it's Isaiah. That's probably yeah. the best player. Isaiah Thomas. Okay. All right. I'm gonna, I'm gonna let that slide. I'm gonna let that slide. Chance. Yeah. It was Dave Bing. It's the best oh, play. Fuck the Pistons. Oh, Dave. Did you, hold on. Did you just? Did you just? Did you just What's say Dave, Dave Bing? Bing on this podcast? The mayor? <laughs> <laughs> Nobody even knew he was a Detroit Piston until they were like, oh, I was an ex-Detroit Piston. Like, oh, you talking you about a mayor? mayor? Nigga, you lying. You ain't no Piston. Um, the, the nigga who, who Dave Bing also in, um, no, that wasn't Dave Bing that was in Beverly Hills, was it? No, oh, that wasn't lie. Dave Bing. Low, hey, low, low key though, low key. The stepping stone mayor from Kwame to, to Duggan, that's what he was. Uh, that's the stepping stone mayor. He was in there for that long? 
Yeah. That nigga was that, old, though. That he, man, that he man was there when, Mo, when, when Moses got the Ten Commandments. That man, old as dirt, man. Old as dirt. <laughs> got the Ten Commandments. That man, he was, <laughs> he was there. He was there when there was 12 of them. He was there when there was 12 Commandments. He said, hey, take them two off. Take, I mean, take them two off. Them two, I, I, them two I, I, right I, there, I, ain't I, it? <laughs> I mean, I mean, Bing, I mean, Bing was kind of like of a blessing in the Sabbath because we went from Bing and then obviously Mike Duggan came after that. So, True. so it's shout out to Mike Duggan. Shout out to Mike Duggan. Yeah. Shout out to Duggan. All right. Mike Duggan. All right. All right. Number, number six, the Miami Heat. He wins. Alonzo Morning. He wins. Six appearances, three wins. Wayne County. The best player is, of course, Wayne County. Is, is Shane Battier. Ow. Detroit <laughs> Country Days own Shane Battier. Look, he did go to the he did go to You gotta, you yeah, gotta you're right, to... you're right, Chris. You're right. It gotta be Shane. It's not Shane Battier. Hey, 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 yeah, hey, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, Chris. His honorable mention for you. It's Norris Cole. I was gonna say that. <laughs> hey man, he played this role in them two years that they won championship. Hey, that's for sure. He was just sitting on the bench, like oh, I'm. I'm just here, winning the championship. Hey, he got his ten minutes, and he did what he had to do in those ten minutes. Mm-hmm. He got a ring out of it. That's all you can say. He said, he "LeBron, two. you got your water." He definitely did what he, he was supposed to do. But my, my favorite, for sure, D Wade. Gotta go D Wade. Yeah, D Wade, favorite player of all time. Wade, Wade County. Wade, yeah, yeah, it's Wade. It ain't, it ain't, it ain't LeBron, 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 LeBron. Now, who like he needed that? He he needed that move. Now, learn from people who know how to win. He needed a no, team. No. That's all he needed. And that was that team. So two. A co- a close sec a close second is a guy. A lot of warning. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm not gonna Tim Hardaway. It's a good choice. I like it. No, all I right. call I Eric Spolstra. I'll beat the show it. He's the longest <laughs> running point from besides, besides uh, Pat Riley. Like, what else you gonna do? Yes. Still, Pat, Riley still got, oh, Pat Riley did the Knicks dirty, though. I will say that. It's Pat Riley. What you expect? It's Pat Riley, man. Like, like It's the Knicks. They do everybody dirty. Mm-mm-mm. They're trying anyway. to bring the job to get Michael Jordan, man. The late nights. Come on, now. Stop tripping. And we'll, we'll get to him in a second. Number five, we have the San Antonio Spurs. Six appearances. Five Dunk. wins. Dunk. Tim Duncan. Tim Duncan. Tim Duncan. Tim Duncan. Bye, what about Ginobili? I don't care. Huh. Is he the Tim, Tim Duncan or Tim, David uh, Robinson? Yeah, Day Rod's close number two. So uh David Van Nobly and uh Tony Parker are like I can't I can't one, uh one A, one one uh B, one C. I can't respect David Robinson though. <laughs> no, it's it's, it's only Timmy. Timmy got five yeah, of them. I can't I can't respect Dave Robinson. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> Dude, dude, he got, he got dunked on by Calvin Cambridge and like Mike. I can't respect him no more. Bro, bro the man's in the name. He fought, the man's in the name. Oh my god, bro. I can't respect him. If you get, get this man, get this man, bro. I swear. Bro, you got dunked on by Little Bow Wow. We got Little in his name. Bro, the, David Robinson was in the Navy. He fought for this country or so, man. He's a good ambassador of the game. Come on now. Morris not Chestnut the, beat him in a basketball game. Not <laughs> amen. Amen. on the LA Knights. Hey man. Not amen. The, just oh, like two, oh, not sure. the Clippers, not the Long Lakers, game. the Knights. That should be an expansion team, low key though. I, I'm just saying that that'll be kind of lit. But but anyway, put them in three teams. Name. LA gets three teams. <laughs> but I, I was I was at the the second best player in the history of the Heat was Joel Anthony. But but that's enough on that. But anyways, going back to um, to to the Spurs, they, David Joel Robinson was they, they, Rob, they, David that's David Robinson was David Robinson David Robinson was a beast. I think he has like the only like game in NBA history, and where it was like a quad, like a wait no, like a quint shit quint double. double. That that thank you, thank you. That was trying to say. I, I, oh I, yeah, I, the quadruple. Yeah, I had a brain mess up that time. So, bro, he was putting in work. Not until I get into the league. Wait till I get to the league. I'm about to get over. No, my player. You talking about the, my player? You no, I'm Tyler? all right. All right. All right. All right. Moving on to number four. Number four, we're going to do the Chicago Bulls, the only undefeated team in the finals. I wonder why. <laughs> Crazy. Six and oh, six appearances. Yeah, but. Best player. Wait, 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 Marcel, wait, wait, real quick. That day, Ross, the game, 34 points, 10 rebounds, 
10 assists, and 10 blocks in one game. Oh, a quadruple double. That's that's insane. Yeah. It's easy. Duncan yeah. almost did that in the finals. Right. He he could do that in two. I mean, come on. Almost. Emphasis All on he needed, he needed he needed one more what one more block or one more assist or something like that. Yeah, but guess who took it? Ginobili, my player. Yeah, there's only been four of them in NBA yeah, history. Record, I yeah. think not. <laughs> but yeah, um, uh, the it, it's about the Jordan. Yeah, it is. It's Jordan. Oh. Okay. Close okay. number two. Close somebody bigger. Derrick Rose. That's close number two. Nope, Scotty. Steve Kerr. 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 I will. Horace Grant. Oh, all right. Oh. All right. All right. Horace all right. Grant. I thought I thought about to say Tony Kukoc. Dennis Carter. Rodman. Dennis Who? Rodman. I'm done with Pippen. He lost his wife to Jordan's son. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> well, he been lost. He he been lost his wife. His wife been for the streets since they since since yeah. uh, early two thousand. Yeah, his wife his been haircut? for the streets. Have you seen his haircut? Yeah, I, man, I yeah. Know. The mean streets of uh, Michigan cheating. Avenue. Okay. She been yeah. for the streets, boy. Back. She, <laughs> she didn't. She didn't been around the league. I'm gonna just say that. Well, well. Uh, it's apparently, a Pippen been for the streets too. He got it fucking four times a day. I heard I about mean, that. How, how do y'all feel? Okay, anyway, we're gonna talk about that on, on another episode. Yeah, that's a whole, that's a whole, that's a whole episode. It's a whole other episode. We're not gonna talk oh, about that's that's that today. It's a lot of mystery. Her or so, so, to be continued, people. So, so Chicago Bulls six appearances. The best player, obviously, is Michael Jordan. Yep. So number three, we have the Golden State Warriors slash Philadelphia Warriors. I mean, four. they got four, five. They have, they have seven. They got seven. 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 Okay. They got oh, seven yeah. in the day? They got seven. And they lost five, so 12 appearances in the finals. Damn. Mm-hmm. Splitting between Philadelphia and right. San Francisco. Yeah. Yeah. Is, oh, is anybody God, arguing damn. that it's not Wardell? It, it, it's uh, tough. It is tough. It's definitely Wardell. Either it, Will it, Chamberlain it, or Steph Curry. It is definitely Wardell Curry. Wardell. It's definitely Wardell Steph Curry. What, uh, uh, what about Chris Mullen? Oh my God! <laughs> I mean, if that's the case, we can go Mitch Richmond. Uh, the run TMC offense in the nineties, huh? What about Baron Davis? All right. Oh, okay, I, like Baron. Okay. I, I, I like. I forgot I like, about I like Baron Davis. I like. I like the Mr. Shaq and the fool himself. Jabal McGee. No, 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 Baron Davis. <laughs> his his Shaq and the fool highlights were hilarious. <laughs> But yeah, so and, 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 and to even as another honorable mention, Michigan State very young Jason Richardson, throw a brother out there. So honorable mention. And Michigan State's Jason own Richardson Draymond Green. I, I'm going I'm gonna put him in there, okay? I have to say the best last, okay? And Steph Curry, of course. Shout out to Draymond. Yeah, he's, like, he's there, he's there. Shout out to Draymond, man. Number two. Oh boy. Because we already know, we already, we already know what the number one and two teams are. Yeah, yeah, yeah we are. We are. Um, Boston and LA. I did we this. Right I on. did this based on wins and losses. Mm-hmm. Okay. Los Angeles mm-hmm. Lakers have been to the finals more than any other team. Right. They've also lost more than any other team. Hey, oh, hey, that's not and that's one. why they're at number two. This man right here, man. But, well, but oh, they but just, they not, just they I, just I, tied. I, I, all they I'm just tied the Boston wish. Celtics. This well, is a different you, question. Some other man. What is you, the who is the best player for the Lakers? No, no, he said favorite. Favorite. Please. No, no, no. I said I said best or favorite. The best player, obviously, for the Lakers is obviously Bean Bryant. My favorite is Kobe. That's a fact. Jerry uh, motherfucking West. I'm playing. He, he, <laughs> he is the logo. He is the All right, man. y'all have a good night. Hey, another MSU alumni. He uh, said good night. Um, it ain't. Okay, he's he's the logo. You gotta put him up there as the best. Well, well, absolutely not. Well, my well, my favorite is the Mamba. So that's that's like yeah, I had a, I had I had a I had a I mean magic or Kobe, but I was like eh. I either or for that. They both have a legacy. They both have a legacy. Yeah, I mean you, you get yeah, you could go either or my my personal yeah, my personal Chris, who needed Kobe. more aid? What'd you say? Huh? Which player needed more aid? Magic had a better team. Wait, 
Are you saying this? Are you saying this as eight. like more aid, like an aid, or like aid as a Magic Johnson? Or, or, or like more, more aid than help. <laughs> what like is I going on, Marcel? Like, I'll is let it, you be, is I'll it let like you, help? Be to judge that. I mean, Kobe needed the help, but Magic had the team. Magic had way better team. He had a way better team way. than Kobe. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not this way with that. It depends on what I Kobe mean, you're talking about too, because early Kobe he had a good team, but like from like 04 to like he when had, he won another championship team, he it, 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 it was bad. It Derek was bad. Oh, <laughs> Nigga said, Derek I just I I literally just had a conversation with somebody. My my man has a lot of Melvin Dang. Well, he had slob. That, that two thousand. This man, this man it. took, and this is no disrespect to my man Lamar, because I love Lamar. Lamar Odom. That man yeah. was a crackhead. He was. <laughs> He was. Who was my on crack? My, my, my man gave Smush Parker a championship ring. You heard Smush me? Smush Parker. Who disrespect Smush Parker like that? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Everybody's favorite Laker player, Kwame Brown. <laughs> oh, Kwame Brown. Oh, Kwame. Kwame. Oh, yeah, I remember him. Kwame oh, oh, Brown, Kwame Brown, man. For uh, Paul Gasol, right? Uh, all I gotta do, all I gotta do is type in Kwame Brown's worst game as a Laker on YouTube, and just just watch it. That, that's what I gotta no, do. No, no, just type in Kwame Brown's worst games. It'll be <laughs> five hours of great outtakes. Just, I thought it'd be ten. Great outtakes. I thought great outtakes. That's all you need. Kwame Brown. Well, right. season. Kwame. Man. Oh, oh, this nigga played for the Pistons too. God, damn. Uh, who did? Kwame oh, yeah. Brown. Oh, oh, he did. He did. Oh, he played what, like what? Two thousand and what? Eight, seven? Yeah, two thousand eight oh. to twenty ten. God damn. Oh, he was on the team for two years. Three years. Three. That's three. Well, yeah. Oh, damn. Oh, Jesus. Bum. God damn. And we still went to the Easter Conference Finals with this bum. No, yeah, no, that, no, no, yeah, we did. Yeah, we did. Oh, wait, in 09. Pistons, we went to the final. The Pistons, Eastern Conference the Pistons, the Pistons went to like six straight Eastern Conference finals in the, in the, um, in the 2000s, man. Plus, to respect in that game. That's those, was, those, teams, those teams were wild. I wasn't watching them. Damn. Kwame Brown. Kwame Brown. Brown. <laughs> what about the Celtics? <laughs> Which player are we saying for that? First of all, first of all, I got I to get to my number one. Let, let me get there. Let me get there. Come on now. We all know it's the Celtics. My number one team, Don't fuck it. Boston, fuck the Red Sox, mm. fuck, the, fuck the Patriots, most of all. Mm. Hey, 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 man. Fuck the Bruins. The Bruins. Mm. Well, yeah. I Bruins. Get and of course, my number one team, fuck the Boston Celtics. <laughs> this, this is why Chris did not need to be a home by himself. My man's cutting up tonight, man, but I love it. Well, I'm, well, I'm, let me tell you this right now. It's a conspiracy <laughs> against that Boston shit. You, you know what? That's... That's a different. That's a different. You don't find that too. suspicious? I was about to get real black in here, but oh, yeah, um, yeah, 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 yeah. That's for a whole different episode of the Crisscross Corner Podcast. Mm-hmm. Uh, we do not condone words of uh, racist uh, antics. <laughs> However, from Kwame Boston, Brown. Kwame Brown, seventeen Kwame wins. Brown. They only lost Brown. five times. Dang! Damn, they've been twenty-two times. That's 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 Wait, Only like, lost it, five because they won like crazy? eight straight back in the did that, 60s. Did that, include, did that include last year too? Yes, it includes last year. Damn. Oh, yeah. They, 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 they only five. lost how many times? Five. 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 Wow. Five? So, in my math is right, that's 17 out of 20. Wow. That's pretty that's good. A nice, that's a nice number. That's right a good yeah, win that's, percentage, that's, isn't that's, it? That's, I ain't makes even mad about it. Makes them the best, them the uh, best okay. team in the NBA, doesn't it? I, 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 see, I, see, I see the case. I see the case. Ah. I see the case. They've been 22? That's a nice The Lakers that's, have been that's, 10 that's more times. That's a great ass win percentage. That's... Ain't, ain't, ain't nobody touching that. Ain't no team touching that. The Pistons are? What you mean? Wait till we get the, that, that French guy next this year. Wait till we get him. Hey, <laughs> sh- hey, 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 first of all, shout out to Bill Russell for playing for that racist ass city. I mean, there's been a lot of people to play for. Again, that. again, a topic for another episode. That, exactly. That, that does... well, Bill Russell was great, wasn't he, Marcel? I say them, you know, only black people in, in Boston is the people who play sports for them. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. David Ortiz. <laughs> who else played for Boston? 
Well, are we talking about? Are we talking about the uh, Randy uh, Moss? Uh, he was the only black person when he played for the Patriots. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, man. man. I, I can't. I can't tell you not one brother who played for the, for the Boston Bulls. I can't tell you not one person. Me neither. I, mean, I can't. I don't know. I don't know how. I, 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 I can't tell you. But as far as the uh, the Bruins, who was the best? Who was the best Celtics player though? Oh, oh that is. I think, cool. I think we're gonna be unanimous here. In, Kendrick uh, Perkins. Bill. <laughs> Bill Russell or Jerry Rule West? No, no, no. I, I don't. No, no. The best play. No, you guys are totally missing points. Rajon best, Rondo. Rajon Rondo. The what? best player in Celtics history is the, truth? the one. The truth. No, no, not the truth. The truth. Oh, the, the truth of the matter is that Delonte West. It's All right, y'all. That's been Celtic. another edition of the Chris Cross Corner podcast. See y'all next time. Come out, come out, come out. You said the latte. Hey, yo, I'm going to bed. The latte West. Goodness gracious! This, this man single handedly pulled down LeBron James, and more ways than one. And more ways than one. But if we're gonna be, if we're gonna be out, if we're gonna be out, but if we're gonna call it what it is, we're gonna call it what it is. But for my, but but. My present paint for his favorite. It's gotta go, Larry Bird. It's gotta go. It's gotta Larry go. Bird is actually Bird. Bill Russell. I had a, My I had a blackness won't let me say. I I I hate it. I just hate anything Boston, just because I'm a Detroit fan. But I, Larry Bird was like, not it, not, a not, person Larry, you love to hate. He was yeah, the Larry, Larry Bird. Larry Bird is that guy, man. I like real the hit from French Lake, Indiana. Yeah, man. Like that. Larry's that guy. Larry's it's that like guy, you man. love to hate him. Like, God I, 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 popular I opinion, Larry Bird is one of the most overrated basketball players of all time. Whoa! Oh, time out. Time out. Hold on. Whoa! Great, great debaters. Great debaters topic on another day. Tony on the play. Great Tony debaters. Play. Tune in for that episode. Whoa! <laughs> play. Hold up. Tune in for that episode. We're gonna bring all. We're gonna bring uh, the white delegates in for that episode. <laughs> gonna be plenty of them. <laughs> We're gonna begin. We're gonna bring in Keegan Basil. Um, you wanna, you wanna, you wanna, the, you wanna clickbait, Chris? There yes, you go. I, I need clickbait. I need clickbait for that, all, that's, uh, for that's April. clickbait right there. Or hey, 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 if you want another clickbait, um, um, another clickbait title, Allen Iverson's career is kind of overrated. It's trash. It's all. It, it's been trash. Agree. It's trash. Oh, it's it's, it's career was trash. I, I'm not gonna say like trash, trash, but like. Uh, yeah, trash is probably harsh. But yeah, it's no, not his career was trash. It's not as good as people want to think. Yeah, Allen Iverson. It, like, just like because it, I'm gonna just say this: Allen Iverson was a volume shooter. His his shooting percentage was fucking terrible because mm-hmm. nobody else could shoot. I mean, is that he could have shoot either? Eric Snow. Uh, he uh, name but the, the thing was, they put <laughs> Allen Iverson around a bunch of defenders. And was like, just pass that motherfucker the ball, and everybody move the hell out the way. Move out the way. That was it. That was it. Like even when they brought in, which is not a bad strategy. Matumbo was a defender. He wasn't. Matumbo wasn't like this elite scoring center. He was a shot blocker, rebounder, right? Mm -hmm. Vernon Maxwell, like like Aaron Aaron McKee was a defender. George, what was his name? Uh, some George. He was a defender. George Lynch. Oh, Eric Snow oh, was a know, defender. Yeah. Like they, he had four defenders on the floor, and it was hey, Allen hey, Iverson. Hey, and, and, and the play was passing the ball, get with the ball, and move out the way. It was, it was just, the, it was the same thing as Bel Air Academy play. Get with the ball. Get with the ball. <laughs> I gotta that watch was, that. That was the play. That's, yeah, that's what do we do? Pass it to Will. Pass it to Will. Hey, Chris, hey, hey, Chris, hey, 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 Theo Ratliff. All right, all right, y'all. See y'all. See y'all next Theo time. Ratliff. See y'all next time on the Chris Cross Corner Podcast next Wednesday. We thank you, Marcel Smith. Thank you, Christopher Bird. Thank you, Champ the Great, and thanks Haney for being on the show. Show. I'm your host, Chris yes, Kenton. See y'all next time. Social distance and be nice to each other. <laughs>